That was your first dive ever. Yes. First ocean and, and you don't know how to swim. No, I don't know how to swim. I've never really been in water more than like shoulder deep. Not to until two years ago. Um, it was the best experience ever. I feel like there's nothing on land anymore. Everyone should just be in water. <laughs> <laughs> there's so much more to see and do. <laughs> Hello, hello, and today about first dive ever. But not just simply about first dive ever, but for those who is not really comfortable with the water or don't know how to swim. And I have a couple of good stories uh, from the people who don't know how to swim. And since for Discover Scuba Diving, it's not a requirement to know how to swim because you're diving with the diving professionals. We are actually at the moment in Badugul uh, picking up some strawberries we have a big plants and being uh, big ambitions of uh, how many kilos we're gonna pick up that's only one basket of six or seven but yeah back to DSD so it's really important that you choose the really right instructor for your first experience I think it's not really good idea to experiment and it's also not really good idea to save money on that. If the instructor will do something wrong or will not be cautious to your, I don't know, fears and everything, so then it means um, we will lose one person from diving family or if everything will be good, so then we will get one more person into it. Some people are afraid of water, some people don't know how to swim. Uh, but I think it's sometimes even better to start with the diving if you want to learn how to swim Because you are so afraid of the water and when you see That you can be underwater and you can breathe underwater. So then being on a surface is not that petrifying anymore for you and uh, I know a lot of people who started diving before learn swimming they can think about the right position they can think about right kicking and uh, when they come back from diving accidentally they know how to swim I do not really let's say I accept people who don't know how to swim but anyways in the beginning of the session I'm actually teaching them how to swim or at least how to float on a surface because if I will get this person underwater and after the diving we will have some difficulties on a surface this person will freak out
And personally, I love Discover Scuba Diving it's because that's the first true emotions. And it feels really rewarding. When they were going to the dive, they were full of fears and, and anxiety. And when they come back from the diving, they are so grateful for what you did to them. And um, they are so happy about how they're feeling about water now because technically I'm actually introducing them to the water and I'm showing them that experience can be really enjoyable. Being underwater is really relaxing if you accept water. Accept water and you will be absolutely happy in there. What would you recommend to the people who don't know how to swim? They never, they've been kind of scared of water. Um, is there is any recommendations you would say now when you did it? <laughs> uh trust your body it's capable of doing more than you think it can um, breathe and uh, most importantly enjoy especially when you have a good instructor you do not need to know how to swim to scuba dive <laughs> thank you and uh, thank you very much for watching this episode follow subscribe like the video and see you on the next one